now we start here a new topic application of percentage so from pop, uh, formula given to us percentage increase percent and decrease percent so how you find increase percent increase by original value into 100 and give, give the percentage sign decrease percent decrease by original value into percent sign okay so like this we so we uh, do exercise 9.5 so we do part wise in first part i discuss 12 question for in this uh, class in the 12 question i solve 5 question for you and list you solve by yourself so let's we start here first by first question that is if 35 percent of 300 mangoes are spoiled find the number of good ones in the in, in question what is given to us 35 percent of 300 mangoes are spoiled means they are not of use they are rotten or they are not of the con they are not able to uh, they are not in the consume we cannot consume it okay and we have to find the good ones so how we know first of all we have nine uh, we have to find the number of spoiled mangoes so how we find that spoiled mangoes i have solved here one question number of mangoes equals to 300 percentage of spoiled mango that is 35 percent of mangoes the number of spoiled mangoes that is 35 percent of 300 so when we cancel it how much we get here 106 five mangoes so number of good mangoes are 300 minus 105 that is 195 mangoes now uh, as the as the question as the question i marked here second one is i choose the random question so here we have to solve question number four so first of all we did it if 25 125 of 1000 chalks are broken what percentage remains we have to find the percentage of remaining chalk first of all we want we want to know how many chalks are remain so total number of chalk total number of chalk equals to how much 1000 number of broken chalk that is 125 number of remain chalk ok so what you got here 1000 minus 125 if you subtract it what you get here this much you can subtract the rough also so I get this one this much chalk ok so here you write here chalk 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 so now we have to find the percentage the percentage of the remaining you write here percentage of remain chalk how much chalks are remain 875 out of 1000 into 1000 ok now you sub cut and we have to give percentage sum also we cut 0 and 0 don't cut this one because it is able it is easy for us to give the decimal So here we get the answer. Seven eighty seven point five percent are left. Now we go to question number seven. I spend rupees one thousand two hundred and six on shopping of which three thirty three whole one by three percent was spent on book. What amount of spent on the book? We have to find the what amount 
we have the spread on books so we have to find 33 over 1 by 3 percent of this much this amount that is 1235 first of all we write the statement first one is amount spread on stopping it is rupees one thousand of book this thirty three hole one by three percent of amount whatever you want to spend of that it is 33 whole 1 by 3 percent so what you write here 33 99 and 100 so 100 by 3 percent of 1236 so uh, we go ahead 33 into 1, one two, uh, three, six. what you if we remove this percentage sign we have to multiply it by 100 okay in the denominator so first of all you cut 100 and 100 3 1 ja, 3 4 ja, 12 3 1 ja, 3 3 2 ja. so what is the answer so piece 432 uh, so hence so piece 412 was spent on books so like this you have to solve this question now after this you move ahead question number 10 here a coin is crossed 60 times and it lands tail side up 33% of the time so if we toss a coin 60 times out of the 33 35 percent it lands to tail we have to find the number of times each time turns up okay now we have to find the number of times i mean uh, how many times it comes tails up and how many times it comes uh, head up. First of all, you define the how many times it comes tail up. Total total number of that is 60 times percentage of sales Side up that is the five percent of top now number of sales slide up thirty five percent of sixty. It is thirty five by hundred into sixty. Now you cut it seven. Seven times two times two one zero two three. That is twenty one times. Okay. So in twenty one times the tail comes up. Now number of 
head tied up. How we know we have to subtract a 21 from 60. Right? How much we get here? 9. 5 minus 39 times. Why I subtract? Because when we toss a coin, only two outcomes come. Either head or other tail. So if 20 time, 21 times is tail side up, then it is ultimate that we have to subtract 21 from 60. The remaining uh, time it comes head. Now, uh, 10 num 11 numbers, the population of town is increased from 70,350 to 1,525,000 in 10 years. Find the percentage 